What are we going to be dealing with are, at this point, some reflections. What is a reflection? Reflection, we can also call it sometimes a flip. And we, when we flip something, we usually flip it over a line of reflection, all right? Line of reflection is basically kind of like our mirror. So it's basically a reflection, all right? We're flipping it over. When I talk about reflection, or when I think of reflections, right, I think about where do I see reflections? And the first thing that pops in my head is usually myself in the morning, right? Well, what do I do in the morning? I wake up, I brush my teeth. After I brush my teeth and brush my hair, that's when I kind of get this power to look at myself in a mirror. So there I am standing, right, and I'm going to look at myself in a mirror. So imagine this is me, and I am standing in front of a mirror in my house. And in front of me could be, for instance, a trash can, right? I can always have a little trash can to a side. Now, if I am looking at myself into the mirror, are you, do you think I'm going to see the trash can first and then me or me and the tra trash can? Well, obviously, if the trash can is in here, right against the mirror, I'm going to see the trash can first. And behind the trash can, then I'm going to see myself, right? So that is a reflection. Basically, whatever is the closest is also going to be the closest on the other side of the line of reflection, basically attached to the mirror. If I was to put my hand on the mirror, I'm going to see the hand right on the other side of that mirror. So please keep in mind, that is a line of reflection. If something is certain units away from the mirror, it's going to see itself on the other side of that mirror, the same amount of units. Let's look at this example. We have a triangle A, B, and C. And what we're supposed to do is reflect the triangle over the x-axis. Which one is our x-axis? Is the one that goes left and right, correct? And after we reflect it, we're supposed to provide the new coordinates of the triangle. So remember, the new coordinates are a prime, b prime, and c prime. Now, our line of reflection is the x-axis, the one that goes left and right. So we're going to imagine that triangle is standing in there and is looking at itself in a mirror, right? And every point, every vertex, is a certain amount of units away from that mirror. So point A, if you look at it, is one unit away from the mirror. So it's going to see itself one unit away from the mirror, right? So that is going to be our point A prime. It's very important. Then we have point B. Point B is also one unit away from the mirror, right, if you count it. And so it's going to see itself one unit away on the other side. C is one, two, three, four units away from the mirror. So it's going to find itself the same amount of units on the other side, right, from that mirror. So we're going to place it where it belongs, A prime, B prime, and C prime. The same amount of units they are from the line of reflection from their mirror. Now, the final step is to give the coordinates of the new image. So let's do this. First, we're going to start with the point A prime. A prime, we're going to move along the x-axis first, right? So point A prime corresponds to number one on the x-axis, right? And then if you look on the y-axis, we want one unit down, right? So that corresponds to negative one. B prime, if you count your units from the origin, right? Always start from the zero. So we're going to count how many units it is actually on the x-axis, and it's four. And again, on the y-axis, it corresponds to negative one. And let's do C prime. On the x-axis, C prime corresponds, if you even look up usually, right? If you were to draw a line up, it's one. And then on the y-axis, we went four units down. So that actually is a negative four, right? 
So our points were 1 and negative 4 for C prime. Now let's look at this triangle. This time around, we're supposed to take this triangle and reflect it over the y-axis. So not over the x that goes up, right, this way. Because this would be the mirror. It's like if I was to look in myself in a lake, right? That's the x-axis. Y-axis, this time around is me standing and looking at myself in a mirror. So that triangle wants to be reflected over the y-axis, right? So let's do that. Point A, it finds itself one unit away, so it's going to be on the other side, one unit away. And now that is our point A prime, right? And the same thing we're going to do for every single point we will see. So we're going to count the units for our point B, right? And the point B also shift itself the same amount of points, the same amount of units to the other side of our line of reflection. And the same for C. C is one unit, and the other side is going to see itself one unit away from the y-axis. And here is our reflected triangle A prime, B prime, and C prime. The final step is to provide the new coordinates. So let's do that. So coordinates for A prime, if I look at that from the origin, right, we want one unit to the left. So if I go to the left, that is negative 1. And then we want one unit up. On the y-axis, it corresponds to positive 1. B prime, we're going to count the units if they're not already stated, right? So B prime, if I move to the left, I'm moving towards the negative numbers, right? So B prime on the x-axis is negative 4. And then we want one unit up. And C prime, also from the origin start, right? We went one unit to the left, so that is negative one. And then we have to count how many units up, and we went four units up. So that is our coordinates for A prime, B prime, and C prime, and that is all about reflections.